Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, it helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, today we're going to take a look at Goldman Sachs, ticker symbol GS. This was requested by somebody in the comments in a previous video. If you have a ticker that you'd like me to cover, please put the ticker symbol in the comments below. Just the ticker symbol, not the company name. And uh, if I reply to your comments and say that I've added it to the list, then just know that it's in the queue and I'll get to it when I get to it. If I don't reply, feel free to drop that comment again in a future video, and that'll push that comment to the top of the list and give me a, it'll give me a better chance to see it. All right, so Goldman, uh, here is the year to date. It's had a very good year, obviously. The first thing that jumps out to me is what I would assume is a very likely uh, channel that this is in. Yeah, there's sort of a couple of situations here, right? Because there's that and then there's also this, which lines up much cleaner, I think, with the top. So I think it's testing the bottom of this channel right now. There is the other possibility that oh, I wonder if we can just do another parallel let's see what happens if we do this I've never actually tried to do this um, okay that actually doesn't look that bad all right so the one in yellow is sort of the broader um, more uh, liberal channel uh, just because it's giving more space to all of the price action versus the blue channel which is more typically how I draw it, a little bit more conservative, um, you know, puts you out, stops you out of the channel sooner, but is, is a bit of more of a conservative play. But this is just to say, as it's really testing the bottom of this channel and questioning whether or not it'll fall out, you know, it could push into this yellow area. And if it does confirm this yellow channel, then it could sort of pop the blue one off of there and just say, okay, I'm going with the yellow channel and not the blue channel. And um, the way that I like to play these channels for as long as they last and all channels eventually break. So just keep that in mind uh, is by dip buying toward the bottom, taking profit at the top and then waiting for it to come near the bottom and then taking profit at the top and just doing it over and over and over again until it breaks the channel, which like I said, eventually will always ha happen. Now, the one thing that looks like it could make Goldman really test this yellow area uh, is obviously an influx in in sell volume in recent days, right? There's almost every day here for the last several days is red and uh, with growing volume also. And the MACD also coming down quite strongly, not showing any sort of desire to have a bullish crossover. It had a failed attempt at one here, very quickly drew itself back down. So it looks like this bullish momentum has really died down. Bearish momentum could be coming in kind of strong. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But to me, this is a, a channel play for the time being until it's not, but I would really be looking, um, I don't have a position, but if I did, sorry, not if I did, but if I was looking to take a position, I would wait to see if it's going to come down and test the bottom of this yellow channel, or if it's going to clearly start to move back up in the blue channel before I made any decision to enter or not. Because like I said, this MACD looks like it wants to draw it down quite a bit more, but uh, that'll sort of play out in the coming days. But other than that, I wouldn't worry about a bunch of different supply and demand zones until the channel breaks. When the channel breaks, then you sort of have to look for other indications and other signs. And that could be sort of a trend line or a flagging pattern. That could be supply and demand zones that have proven to, to be pretty strong in the past. But, um, you know, maybe we can revisit if it does break the channel and, and see what it looks like. On the data side of things, let me pull up Goldman here in Ortex and see what we got. So we don't have um, a little bit of wiggle room on the analysts. So analysts obviously really like Goldman, uh, generally uh, siding on the buys, and um, but just a little over 5% potential return. That said, obviously it's, it's an enormous company, so it's hard to get super, super high potential returns from those companies. And um, we do see there's been uh, some quite a bit of sales coming out with no buys internally the last year. Um, and a bunch of those buys coming out actually in the last three months. So just no, uh, did I say buys? A bunch of those sells coming out in the last three months. Uh, th this is because I was thinking it, we, it's interesting to not see any insider buying at all. Um, though I don't often look at these more 
monolithic established type companies, at least for these videos. And so it, it might be something more standard in that in that realm that I'm just um, not as familiar with, but uh, something to keep in mind. And on the short interest side of things, next to nothing, 1%, nothing to talk about, barely utilizing any of the shares to borrow. So short's not looking to put any pressure on Goldman for the time being. Well, good luck if you're in this one. It'll be interesting to see if it wants to hold this blue, if it comes out and tests the yellow, and if it does what it does at that yellow. So that could be a key component uh, as far as I'm concerned. That would put it in like the 380s. It, it would depend what day it, it really tested that bottom, but probably something like 385 to 390, 393, something like that. Uh, just depending, like I said, how long it takes to come down. But the MACD looks like it wants to draw it down, but that could certainly reverse it at any point in time. All right, folks. Well, I appreciate you watching and I hope that your trading week is going well and I will see you in the next video.